everyone welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome to i'm shane and today is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be a tutorial on how to make this crochet t-shirt yarn laptop case that's been highly requested by everyone so yeah today we're going to be making this laptop case it is my laptop case that i do use and it's really sturdy and i love it so much so my laptop is a macbook air 13 inch so this is what the tutorial is going to be based off. If you have a bigger laptop or a smaller one, you can still use this tutorial but just adjust it so that it fits your laptop. Okay, so materials you guys would need are a 10mm crochet hook. If you don't have a 10mm hook, you can also use a 12 or a 9 but I suggest using a 10mm hook. Next you need some scissors. Any scissors will do. These are the ones that I just have. Spaghetti yarn or t-shirt yarn. Two. Two different colors. So today I'm using these colors, but you can use any colors you want. Two of these. And I got these at Lincraft. I can't find these at Spotlight. Only because I'm from Australia, there's like limited supplies to get it from. So if you're from Australia, I suggest going to Lincraft to get your t-shirt yarn. First thing we're going to do is make a slip knot with both of the t-shirt yarn. After that, we are going to chain 16. After you've chained 16, it's always best to check that it's the correct measurement with your laptop. And it will stretch a bit too, so I like mine really snug, so this is perfect. Once you've chained 16, we're going to add a single crochet in this stitch. Not both of these, but just this one. So skip this and single crochet in this one. Continue to single crochet until you reach this second last one. Just add one single crochet in each of the top, top chains. Once you've reached the last chain, we're going to add three single crochets in this, in this loop right here. We're going to turn over our work. So now that we've turned our work over, we're just going to continue single crocheting down this row. So I like to just tuck the tail in, work it in slash weave it in while I'm crocheting it. So just continue to single crochet down this row. So I'm going to add my single crochet here. Working with t-shirt yarn is a little bit tricky, but you just gotta handle it. And a little disclaimer, your hands are going to hurt after making this. At least for me it hurts, so comment down below if it hurts for you guys too. So I'm just adding one single crochet all the way down until I reach the last one. So now that I've reached the last chain in my row, we're going to add three single crochets in this one here, just like the other side. Okay, 
now that we've done three single crochets in our last one, we can just keep checking to see if it will be snug on our laptop. So this will act as the bottom of the laptop case. Yep, it's looking good. So now we can continue. From here, chain one. From here, we are going to single crochet all the way around until we reach this point again. You can add a stitch marker if you want, but it might be a bit too thick. I'm going to single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you guys here at the end. So now that we have completed our second row, we are up to our third row now and we are going to continue adding single crochets around and around until we reach the top of our laptop. So let me just get my laptop here. It just covers the bottom so I'm just going to continue adding single crochets all the way until I reach the top there. I'm going to do this for 22 more rows. It all depends on the type of t-shirt you're going to use. So for this one, I used a thinner one compared to this one, which is a bit thicker. So that's why I might need to do less. But for now, I'm going to stick to 22 rows and I'll see you guys. And now I have finally reached the top. I'm very close to finishing. So for this part, I'm just gonna decrease and I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm just gonna decrease once. So what we're gonna do now is decrease. Doesn't really matter where you decrease, but for me, I'm just gonna do it in the corner in one of the two sides here. So I'm gonna choose this one. And what you're gonna do is go into the stitch, pull a loop, and then go into the next loop. So, go into that loop again, and pull a loop, chain over, and pull through all three. So that just combined two stitches together. So again, put my hook through there, go into this stitch. Go into one stitch, pull my yarn, go into the next stitch over, pull the yarn again. Now I have three loops on my hook, chain over, and pull through all three. So that just decreased. We just did a decrease right there, combining two stitches. So I'm just going to continue doing single crochets again until I reach this side. Okay, so now that we've reached the other side, I'm just going to check that this properly covers my laptop. So now that we're almost done and we've reached the top of our laptop, I'm just going to check that it fully covers the laptop. You can totally add another row if you like, but I'm just going to leave it like this because I feel like it's secure enough. And we're going to finish our case now. Slip stitch, chain one, and cut this now. Pull that through and just weave this in. I am just going to use, I just use my crochet hook to weave it in. It might be, it's, it might be too thick for a tapestry needle. But I just go in and out of my top stitches here. 
but I just like to go in and out, weaving the yarn. finish off. So now that everything is all weaved in, nothing hanging out, we have officially finished our crochet t-shirt yarn laptop case. So guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope it wasn't very confusing. This, this is my first time making a tutorial. So if you have any questions, just pop it down in the comment section and I will answer it. I'm really liking the cherry, cherry colored vibe we're going for like very sturdy it's quite heavy it's a lot heavier than normal laptop cases but i think it's totally worth it and plus it's handmade thank you guys so much for watching and staying to the end of this video i really really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe and watch out for more tutorials coming soon and i'll see you guys in the next video